My name is Christopher, and I will be demonstrating the Net Backup Malware Detection feature for on-demand scans and using the scan status in the recovery workflow. Let's begin on the Web UI dashboard, where every user starts. We can see the latest malware scanning results here. The scanning events are sorted into impacted, not impacted, pending, in progress, and failed, according to the last 24 hours which is also configurable to 48 or 72 hour timeframes. Let's look at the impacted events. This automatically presents a filtered view, which can easily change to also show other detection jobs. Let's include not impacted now. We can see for this host, there are several of each. These are all previous manual scanning jobs shown here. For our impacted backup image, we may want to take action now. We can expire all copies of this impacted image or view the impacted files. The impacted files list presents each file path and file on its own line. Now that we are in the malware detection portion of the web UI, let's orient ourselves. The columns available are client, backup time, scan result, backup type, date of scan, malware application, and number of files impacted. I have also added two optional columns for the scan host and the backup ID here on the right-hand side for this demonstration. Now let's check our malware detection settings in the upper right-hand side of this pane. We can see scan pools with a malware application, share type, and scan host. We can manage the individual scan hosts or delete the scan pool if it is no longer needed or a new malware application is being used. Automatic scans are not a default. You can configure automatic scans for high anomaly scores in a configuration file. But for this demo, we'll now see how to initiate an on-demand scan by clicking Scan Now. Most scans will be manual, targeting high-risk hosts. Select the Net Backup client and then enter a date range. Each individual image found in the date range will be scanned in its own job. So I will adjust my time frame for this demonstration. Select a scan pool, and we will further limit our scan only to images in the above date range that have not been scanned already. Now we can see a pending scan. In a moment, this will change to in progress. In the meantime, let's look at a recovery workflow for the existing images and see how the scan status is captured. We can search for our client's images and see in the backup history window that the most recent is not yet scanned and further, we can see which images are impacted or not, helping us determine the last known good image, which is the most recent image in the list that is not impacted. If we select a restore point that is impacted, we will get several warnings. We can return now to our malware detection scan and see now that it is completing. The amount of scanning time will vary depending on several factors, including the size of the image and the number of files. In our case, it was a small backup, and we can see that we are not impacted. The impacted scan will also appear as a notification in the upper right, providing several visible alerts when a cybersecurity response may be warranted. We can see that malware scanning will offer another important line of defense within the IT ecosystem and capture that scan status when referencing a restore point in order to find the last known good image. Thank you.